Good morning. Another frigid day in the shop. Okay, I got this uh, Pittsburgh 12-inch combination square set. I tried to get it back in the package. Apparently not that coordinated. But here's what it looks like. It says new. Probably had it for a year. And I, I wanted another square. Didn't go looking for a combination square. Just went looking for a square. And this square, with or without these two attachments, is the same price. So, figured whatever, I'd get these. Maybe, maybe I would use them. Didn't cost me anything extra. And maybe I would use these. I haven't used these. I have a different way of marking angles. This actually is a good idea. I'll demonstrate that in a second. But first thing I wanted to do is see if it's square. Seems a valid point. Is it square? So, configured it like that. I use it like this a lot. And put it down. Okay. Most certainly for the four inches on this side. I see... I don't I do not see any daylight shining through. So to me that's square. This is a square I picked up at Lowe's uh, Swanson Tools cost about fifteen dollars. This cost about thirteen ninety nine before any discounts. I don't remember what I actually paid for it. I doubt it paid thirteen ninety nine for it. These squares typically stay square. So if I can verify against this square, this thing appears to be square. If the combination square seems to be square against this square, I would say it's square. Um, I also tested against this handheld square. This one I would expect to be less accurate because of the wood, but we'll go ahead and try it. There's a little bit of daylight at the bottom of that wood. Let's also try it against this. Uh, yeah, this one doesn't show square against this one. Let's try the same measurement on this one. don't see any daylight through there actually oddly enough there's a little right in here but not here or here so right in through here there's a little bit of daylight it's kind of weird let's try it here well no daylight either place there I would expect this to be more accurate, but that might not be true. Try it here. And there's a little bit of daylight there. Okay, we can keep trying this different ways all day long. When I do it this way, it's square to the big square. No daylight. Since I use this a lot, I consider this to be just as accurate. Maybe over a long distance you might see some run out, I don't know. For my purposes, I'm going to call that square. It's actually more accurate than this one. Actually, there's one I forgot to do on this one. Let's try it this way. Let's see if we can get this on here. I can see daylight at the bottom at the bottom here. I can see daylight. So this isn't square. If these two say the other one is square, then I'm saying both of them are square. Maybe they're both off the same distance. But typically 
these squares, most people trust these big squares. You can do about anything wrong and they usually don't go out of square. And that's a new one. Okay, so now for the attachments. I use it like this 99.9% .9 of the time. It has a set screw here that allows it to go back and forth. If you want my personal opinion, don't take this off. They are a bear to get it on and off. And there's a spring in there that when you take it off, this will pop out and the spring will go flying and you'll be crawling around on the floor looking for it. So I'm gonna leave that on. It's not that difficult to get on, but it's still a pain in the ass. Okay, so here's what the attachments look like. There's three of them. All three of them use the same attachment. There's a thumb screw, there's a small spring, and then this is the slot right there on the tip that fits in a groove on the back of this. So it goes in like this, and that's what it pulls against. Amazingly difficult to line those up. But I will, of course, try. So you put it through here. What you have to do, if you look down in there, is get a free space right there. So, like I said, it's amazingly difficult to make that work, and you got to get the slot facing the screw. So, huh, that actually wasn't that bad. I've got it on there, can't get it the rest of the way. Something's not lining up. There it was. Um, like I said, amazingly difficult. But this is a center finder. Let's see what this thing says about it being square. Uh, it's a little out, but if you remember, when I tested on the outside square, it was out. Let's see about this. There is just a little bit of rocking motion there. A little bit of rocking motion. Let's try the bigger end. Same thing, there's a little bit of wiggle room there. So that isn't completely 90 degrees. This one I don't think square, so. Actually, it says it's square. <laughs> so, who can you trust? That's got a little wiggle on it. So will it find the center of a board? I guess I've got a board. I wanna try to find the center. Relatively painless. There you go. Now that board isn't square, but I would probably use that as the center of the piece of wood. If I was putting it on a lathe, for some reason this board is not cut square. So let's find the center again on the other end. It's relatively painless to use. Of course you need three hands to do it sometimes. And like I said, I would probably use that as the center if I put this on a lathe. I would use this as a center. It's not perfect. I'm not sure the center is going to have to be that close. Most of the time you're finding the center to put it on a lathe and you're going to turn it so it's going to turn to be the center of whatever you pick anyway. So I think that's fairly accurate. Now when you take this off, you got to be very careful because this has to come out. And this can get lost fairly easily. I, when I'm not using these, I have a drawer in my toolbox. I lay these in and I lay these with them. Well, I'm missing one of the springs because I laid it in there. And when I went back, the spring wasn't with it. Thought that was weird, but I'm going to have to go through the toolbox again to try to find that little uh, spring. The problem is my toolbox is black and that spring is black, so it's possible I missed it. But to me, that's just another way of showing how difficult this thing is to use. I probably should get some type of baggie or some type of a plastic container and put these in because I'm eventually going to lose those springs. I'll have to go make new ones. Okay, this one, I don't have a lot of use for something like this. 
I set my angles differently. There's a YouTube channel called Pask Makes, and the guy is actually really good. Um, he has a chart, and I use that chart to set this, and then I use this to mark whatever I need. So for me, this isn't as good. If you want to use this, I hope you had the patience of Job. It takes forever to line this stuff up. Uh, plus, you have to go through the pain in the ass of attaching it because you wouldn't leave it on all the time. I don't know if I can get this back on. So you line that up like you did the other one. You slide this on. And you hopefully slide it on. There we go. And like I said, most of the time I use this as a square, so I'm not going to leave this on all the time. So I have to constantly put it back on if I want to use it. So this spins. These are the thumb screws to tighten it at a specific angle. Uh, say I want to set, well, obviously 90 degrees. I would never trust this to be if I set this to 90, I would never trust it to be as accurate as this. There's just, now see, if you tighten that down, it didn't even stay. You tighten it down. Every time I set this, I could set it differently. So say I'm gonna set it to 90, I've got it on 90, I've locked it in place with these set screws in the back. No matter how much time I took to set this, I would never trust it to be as accurate as this. I could set it two times in a row and get it slightly different. Maybe that would show, maybe it wouldn't. This one's a lot harder to line up. And I set it to 90 and I can see daylight on that bottom one, so I didn't get it to 90. Or the scale's off. I just, I don't trust this. There's too much chance of setting it wrong you could set it and have it one degree out on the scale, and you could have one degree out here, and then all your measurements would be wrong, but it would look right. So to me, that's just not worth it. To me, that is a worthless tool. There are so much better ways to do that. So to me, it's not even worth bothering with. And to be honest with you, I have a way of setting the centers. I have this tool that I bought long ago many many years ago there's not even a name brand on it i use this all the time it works great to go and get this tool and put this on when i had this tool i don't even bother i just use this tool now if i just had a combination square and didn't have that tool then i would probably use that but it's still such a pain to get on and off this that i just don't know that it's worth it okay so i measured this against my square to me, this is square. It's 90 degrees. And everybody knows about this little jig. That's a scribe. That will mark on metal. I don't want to mark on that. It's hard enough that it is supposed to mark on metal. It's, it, it did scribe that. I don't want to make a big mark on that, but it does mark on metal. So it's supposed to be super hard and a super fine point. And it just screws up in the end. All squares should have that, but I'm not sure all of them do. So there we go. Um, it doesn't work very smooth. And I would say that's a combination of the adjustment mechanism and the make of the ruler. To buy it just as the square. Hey, I think it's great. I use this all the time. I like it because I can set it, say, at two inches. Tighten it, and it'll stay there. And then I can measure on a board and draw it across that board, and everything will work fine. So I get consistency. That's important to me. I use it like this most of the time. Once in a while, I'll reverse it, but I can't remember a time I did that. I don't even use the 45 very much. I go back to this, setting it against a paper chart. Okay, so if you need... A square, this is great. It costs the same price with or without these additions. So get them. You might use them. This one, 
If I didn't have another way, I would use this. I think this is fairly accurate. Now this tool, I have no desire to use this. To me, it's not worth the pain in the ass of putting it back on here to actually use it. And I have another method that works. If you don't have another method that works, it's better than nothing. That's about all it's better than, but it's better than nothing. To me, it's indispensable. I use it all the time. For 10 bucks, hey, it works great for me. Glad I bought it. This and this, I put in the toolbox. Maybe I'll use them eventually. But other than to try them out and make sure they worked, I haven't used them. So I've read a lot of comments about people saying that these aren't very accurate. I measured this against my square. I'm perfectly okay with the accuracy. To me, it the 90 degrees is accurate, and that's all I use it for. If you like the videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.